Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Today we're going to revisit how to get your Lego EB3 parts and pieces organized. No joke, my first year of teaching, we would have all of these extra pieces and they would just go into this one giant kit. And then when a student needed a piece, they were digging through just for minutes, just digging and trying to find this piece. And I was just so heartbroken because here they are trying to build this robot and they're just so saddened that they're like, you could see their shoulders drop like, I got to look through that to find this piece. And so that's when I got the idea, hey, let's get these parts and pieces organized like, you know, the garage would be where you have nuts and bolts and screws and nails all organized in these compartments. So today I'm going to show you my setup in my room, how we get those pieces organized. If you want to see that, stay with me. Hino Lego Robotics. So no joke, these compartments have saved me. It has saved my students. It has saved us from going insane because you know we don't want to dig through all these these kits of just pieces that we find on the floor. They just get dumped in, and then they end up you know in no man's land. So we're gonna look at today how do we get these pieces organized. So when a student is missing a piece, they just go and get it. So let's go, let's take a look at these organizational drawers. Okay, so let's start over here where we have lots of the beams, like the J beams, the 15 hole beams. And what I do is I just take the piece map from the EB3 kit and I just cut out the picture of it so the student knows what it looks like and how many they're supposed to have and voila well this is not actually where we keep those there's another drawer that we keep those so a lot of these are just going to be extra which means we filled up one container and now these are like the secondary container and then over here we have the gears the 40 tooth gear i believe that's the 36 whoops sorry and so anytime the students need something they just come over here and grab it and it should be something super fast. There's another secondary one. When this one gets too full, we will just put the extras into there. And then we actually even have one for expansion pieces. So for those of you that have expansion kits, we definitely needed extra ones of these to get expansion pieces in. So over President's Week, I that was my job to go through all of the random extra piece kits and get them organized. So obviously these have all of the beams inside of them. These are all expansion pieces. So what I will do is, especially after a long vacation like we had for President's Week, if students come in tired, I can say, well, hey, how about you sort some of these pieces for me? And they're like, yeah, not only am I helping Mr. Hino out, but I'm, you know, a lot of them find sorting kind of satisfying and relaxing. So, uh, but let's go over here and see what I've been doing over here. So this is going to have all of our axles. There's threes and fours and fives. This is so packed, look at that. I can almost not close that. Black connectors. Here's another case of secondary containers. This one gets so full, we have to have a second one. Uh, same with down here, secondary, secondary. So these just are absolutely wonderful. My students just come over here, they look and see uh, what they want. These are really hard to find, these colored ones. Ooh, we need some more blues, yellows. So I left you a link in the description. Um, I believe they're AMRO. Um, they're off at Amazon and I thought they were pretty relatively cheap. Sorry, um, you know, the school picks up the tab for this, but I thought they were like 20 something dollars a piece. Which, you know, if you're going to be in robotics for a long time, that's a, that's a great um, investment in just your sanity and the kids just being able to build and, you know, not have to spend hours looking for things that they're missing. So 
These have just been wonderful organizational tools to help us locate things and we're not, you know, running around looking for everything. So we have track, we have picture frames, we have black sprockets. So everything that would go under the red tray in your EV3 kit, we kind of keep those separate because that can get pretty big, as you can see. Okay, guys, so I'm not going to lie. My life is not perfect. My students drop pieces all the time, and when they pick it up, you know the story, right? Oh, that's not my piece. And so it ends up going into the miscellaneous dropped piece kit, and now those pieces have to get reorganized back in there. So... Yeah, I roll my eyes with you guys that teach robotics. It's like, are you serious? You know, how can you drop a large motor and not know whose it is? So anyway, any of the this whole story about these organizational drawers from Amazon is they just help us get the, you know, the majority of, you know, students that need pieces. They're going to get those pieces and get back into their build. And then we end up not having issues with, why are you goofing around? Oh, my partner's looking for a piece that we can't seem to find. Do you see how that can help with classroom management? Um, and if you're doing a project, it just gets the students, you know, if they're more engaged and they're having the pieces there with them, they're less likely to get distracted by other things. So it definitely helps out with a lot of things, organization being one of them. Okay, guys, so again, check the link in the description for those containers uh, or drawers, organizational drawers. They're really cool, okay? All right, guys, I am Mr. Hino from Missiles Lego Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey, guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay guys, take care.